Okay, recording start. I will be sharing this screen here. Okay, and now if you have any question related to the marking scheme for the second part of the final assessment, you may ask it through the chat or through your uh, through your microphone. Okay, now you already done the first part of the assessment that is consists of the proposal basic content that is 3% group work, executive summary 2% from the 100%, also group work, and then a uh, case company profile uh, group. Uh, this is individual, but because of the current situation, the COVID situation, so basically I'm I'm being flexible on this part. Some of you may share company, some of you may proceed with your individual company. But for now, uh, you can you may stick with what you already submitted, except for some of you that is going to be mentioned later by next week. So you already highlighted the history, their key strength, company information, service offering. And then you submitted the flow chart and also the description in chapter three that was a business study of their current business practice. Some of you give, most of you give a simple or basically um, some basic business processes that they have done. Okay, now, did, uh, just to remind you earlier, during the earlier days before I, uh, during the passing of this final assessment, I already mentioned that you're supposed to be going to small and medium enterprises um, and not franchises or franchisee. So, um, we already done that. So basically, we just stick with what you have currently done. So, some of you went through big businesses, so their business process is quite mature. So it's going to be a challenge for you to be doing the second part of the final assessment. Okay, now uh, you already brief on the company's business process, the flow chart, the description of each element inside the flow chart and also some of the vital data of the flow chart. Now we're moving on that is you need to be preparing chapter four now chapter four will be starting next um, hopefully by next week after i already share the excel file stating who may proceed but uh, on doing chapter four chapter five and chapter six then you may start doing it i will be announcing it through whatsapp on when the when you may start doing your chapter four and chapter five for now not yet you may enjoy your holiday okay now the first part that the first uh, the first chapter that is in the part two of the final assessment that is chapter four improving through this uh, through sap relevant business processes okay now what you need to do hopefully the first part Mm, this uh, there is something wrong here basically this is just a brief introduction suggested in introduction to the suggested improvement that you that you are suggesting to the company's business process just a brief introduction of what are some of the things that you have added inside their business process now what are the things that in, that is needed to be added is basically true a new flow chart now Improve flowchart how is by illustration. Okay, we look at the benchmark that is for if you want to get three marks. How are you going to be doing it uh, right well on this side of the criteria, or you are currently not doing it very good, or this is the part. Okay, now acceptable illustration of company's business process flowchart showing additional of relevant steps okay how do you know what steps that are needed to be inserted? you may review back the business process of um, of what you are currently responsible with now where does the process you may refer to is inside your lab q 
case study okay now for if you see it through where is it down no is it here okay print now so let's say for example yeah so you are doing let's say for example hr where is hr mm, hcm okay hcm1 that is on hiring okay how do you want to include the improvement of the business process is by referring to here now if you see some of the relevant business processes that are here and it's not inside the case company flow chart then you may move or basically just include it from here to the flow chart that you have already created in chapter 3 so let's say this. let's say for example they didn't do all of this earlier processes great position great career they don't have this great, usually for small businesses they don't plan for their newly uh, hired staff in terms of their career so let's say for example you want to include that yes you may include that but let's see let's see here so notice here to get three marks you show additional of relevant steps so those things how do you want to go through getting five months is by showing additional of relevant steps and removal of irrelevant step which means that you insert process that is inside SAP but also if you look at the process that they are currently doing you see that it is not needed then remove it so basically you may insert uh, you may insert or remove something from the flowchart that you that you have created inside chapter 3 now how do you get one mark you just put every single SAP step inside the new flowchart that is how you get one mark if you don't show any improvement zero if you show improvement by copying every single step inside the SAP business process into the company's this uh, flowchart then you get one if you show by adding a few adding relevant steps you get three but if you add and also remove maybe a few of the irrelevant process you will get five now that is how this final assessment part two will be assessed now the next part is basically just inserting the description almost similar to chapter 3 and also you need to insert new vital data because you have new processes which means that you're going to be having new data okay so similar similar fashion 25 percent of the data is being list 75 percent or more than 90 percent okay so that is what chapter 4 is. Now, any question before I move to chapter 5? You may ask it to reject. Any question 1? Any question 2? Any question 3? Okay, there is none. So hopefully, if you need the... I'm going to be showing you in terms of a doodle um, like what I've done previously uh, during your chapter 3 in terms of a scribble showing how you're going to be doing chapter 4 in maybe by next week. Okay, now chapter 5, implementation of SAP, SAP screen mockup and data entry. This one, you need to, pro uh, this one individual mark 18.5%. Okay, now, how are you going to be doing this is, oh, sorry. Uh, now, this is the part, this is chapter five. This part here. Okay, now, what do you need to do is basically, you need to, pro okay, uh, before this previous semester, um, maybe, okay, we stick with this semester, we don't need to talk about previous semester. Okay, now, what you need to provide here is basically screenshot 
the order of the screenshot needs to be correct and also the data entry. So basically what you need to do here is basically from the newly defined, uh, newly improved business process by adding and removing certain processes, adding, uh, adding relevant process from the SAP and also removing some of the process that you think is irrelevant from what their common practice is. So first part is basically you provide a minimal of five screen. So basically from the overall process, let's say for example, from the flowchart, first, uh, the first flowchart you have five boxes. Okay. And then after you're doing the improvement and also removing some process, you ended up with at least eight processes, uh, sorry, eight boxes. So basically, uh, this one doesn't really uh, necessarily relate to per boxes. This one will be relying on what are the screens that you are encountering when you do your SAP lab. So basically what you need to do here is basically to get three marks, provide five screenshot that is aligned with item 4.2. Okay, doesn't mean that if you have 10 boxes inside your flowchart, you must have 10 screenshots. You'd only need five. So basically from those five, it must be aligned with the flowchart that is four point, that is inside 4.2. Now, if let's say, for example, one of the boxes is basically create customer, create customer information, create customer record. That is one of the boxes inside your flowchart. So you need to provide a screenshot that is related to create customer. There is a screen inside SAP for create customer. Okay. To get more, is basically provide minimal of seven that is aligned with the process that you shown inside your flowchart. Okay, you need to make sure the order of the screenshot is correct. So basically, you need to show the first, second, third, the order of the screenshot must be correct. Okay, and finally, in terms of data entry. After you provide the screenshot, provide it in a orderly manner according to the step. And finally, you need to make sure every single data that is showing on that screenshot is is show is in the context of your keys company. Okay, so let's say for example, mostly if you're going to take it direct from the SAP without changing the data, those screenshots is going to be people inside the US, inside the United, uh, in the United States. So basically what you need to do here, for example, create customer. Um, uh, let's say for example, I'm going to give you one more example. Let's say for example, um, screenshot for material management, create vendor. Okay. And then the second screenshot is create contact person let's say for example create vendor create contact person so basically if you provide those two screenshot you will get around uh, in, uh around here so more uh, the if it's in the correct order those two screenshot are in the correct order you get here and then what happens is basically if you show the the vendor address is in Malaysia and you show the contact person is someone with a name that is common in Malaysia, then you already get a few marks here that is in terms of screenshots, order of the screenshots and also data entry. Now, later after you finish on this one, you need to provide the conclusion. Conclusion, one page, this is group. For chapter 5 and chapter 4 is individual. This one is going to be weightage of 8, this one weightage of 3, this one is weightage of 7.5. Okay. Now, for chapter 5, is there any question?
Any question one? Any question two? Any question three? Okay. So currently, I'm guessing there is no questions. So hopefully, uh, if you have, uh, if you want to refer back to the recording that ex that explains the the marking scheme of chapter four and chapter five, you may refer back to the recording later in YouTube. The sample of how to do chapter four and chapter five will be provided later through. Uh, through a scribble that is uh, similar fashion, uh, that is going to be a, something that is similar during the explanation of the part one of the final assessment. Okay, now for your attendance today, similar fashion, go inside SAP, log on for today's, uh, log on inside SAP today before 12 midnight. So basically, that will be your attendance for today. Okay. Before I end the session, is there any question? No, sir. Okay. If there is no question, then our session ends here. So, before you take your leave for the holiday, so I just want to wish everyone who is celebrating Hari Raya uh, Selamat Air Raya, do not go anywhere else, no inter-district no in, no inter travelling, no interstate travelling. Okay, please stay at your home. Uh, if you feel bored during the first day of Raya, then do your lab exercise. Okay, so those who, uh, just uh, on a note, those of you who stuck on certain part, what you may do is basically you do uh, the rest of the lab exercise, if you, meet, uh, if you want to complete it, so basically that will be your replacement for the marking of the overall lab exercise. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. If there is no question, uh, happy holidays. And I will be seeing you next week during our lab session. Okay. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you